How's it going everybody? Driver53 here and today we're going to be taking a look at my top 5 favorite maps from around the world. Now these are not going to be North American maps at all. These are from other parts of the world. And I want to start off by saying these are my favorite. Okay, These are not what I've gone out to the community and say, hey, what are your favorites? These are my favorite right here. So I don't want to mislead anybody in saying these are the absolute best maps you're ever going to find. These are my favorite. And the reason I'm doing this is because my members asked me what my favorite US maps were. And I put a video out and people liked it quite a bit. I want to share with you guys my top five from around the world. And maybe after seeing my list, maybe you'll want to give them a try. So that's what we're going to do here today. Now, where are we at right now? We are actually at No Man's Land. And this is a map by Alien Gem. Now, this is not part of my top five. And why? Well, because this map honestly could be anywhere in the world, North America included, and it doesn't really have a town. I really like cell points and things like that already pre-existing. Now, do I like to build my own farms? Sometimes. I really do. It kind of depends on what's available on the map. But on this right here, this is the only cell point you have. Right here. Everything else is completely blank. Let's go ahead and take a look at the map real quick. As you can see, there is nothing on this map. You've got one field, you've got a house, you've got some equipment, and you've got a silo. And then down here, you have a sail point, you have a shop, place for gas, and an animal dealer. And that is it. Everything else, you get to make your own farm. Now, is it possible? Absolutely. Alien Gem has provided tons, and I mean hundreds of items here as placeables in this map. But why do I like this so much? You get to create whatever you want. And that's what I absolutely love about this. So let's do a fly over here really quick and I'll show you. So here we are right by the main shop in our truck. And if we start going this way on the main road, you can see there's just nothing. There's absolutely nothing. You got rocks and you got trees. Now you can kind of see a little bit of a road. So if you wanted to follow this along, you absolutely could. And so many different people have been playing on this map and done it so many different ways and you're, you're not gonna copy somebody else. There's so much space here to be able to do whatever you want. And if you wanna dig down, you can turn this lake right here into a river, or you can dam it up and completely cover it up. There, there's nothing that says you have to do it this way. Like I said, you do have some starting stuff. You've got a bale storage place right here. Really, really nice. You've got a, well, I, I'll take that back. There is a sawmill right here that you are going to be able, not a sawmill, but a wood chipper that you are going to be able to make some money. Um, you've also got a water point right here. And this is your silo. And this is your house. So that's it. I mean, absolutely beautiful landscape. And like I said, this could be set anywhere in the world. Technically, the description says that it's in France-ish area, but... It doesn't have to be. You can turn this into a North American farm just as easy as you could turn it into a farm in Europe or anywhere else that would have this type of trees. So really, really nice map here. And there's something else that I want to show you. If you come out here and you come across to these two signs that are right here, let's read what they say. Cutting the signpost with a chainsaw will permanently remove all trees from the map. So you guys saw, saw what all the trees looked like, right? All right, so let's cut this thing down. And boom, as you can see, all the trees are now gone. So what's it look like? So here we are. You can see every single tree completely gone. We are standing right here is where we're at right now. And we'll do the same drive-by that we did a while ago. You can see hardly anything, only the rocks. Only the rocks are still here and your items down here, but there's no more trees. No trees at all. But wait, there's more. Cutting this signpost with a chainsaw will permanently remove all rocks from the map. All right, let's do it. All right, let's take a look. So check this out. Every rock is now gone. Now, you do have these that are still existing, but they're not really rocks. They're just painted ground texture with the rock uh, texture. So they're, it's painted ground with the rock texture. So every bit of this, you are going to be able to landscape down, no problem. Now, why would you want to do this? I mean, what if you just want a bunch of fields without the trees or the rocks? 
You just want to make some big, vast field as big as you can and spend all day plowing it or harvesting it. I mean, it's unlimited on what you can do here. So this map, it's not in the top five, but I highly recommend you checking it out. It gets an honorable mention here. So let's go take a look at number five. To officially kick off my top five, we are here on Chellington Valley. That's right. This is a very, very, oh man, how do I want to say? Jam-packed map. So we went from a map that didn't have anything to a map that has like multiple of everything that you could ever want. There are numerous, numerous farms here on this map. And this is your starting one. Very, very European feel here. And the reason I like this map is because, one, it's got a lot of stuff. I mean, this feels like a very, very real location. And then also down here, the animals are a little bit different on this map. Your sheep here are going to give you manure, which is really interesting. And then if you come around over here to your chickens, now this is really, really, really cool. And this is the way that I feel like every every animal pen or chicken pen should be so let's jump over the gate right here you actually have to give your chickens water yeah and you get to give them straw so they need some bedding right so water and straw for your chickens absolutely love it let's go ahead and take a look at the map and see some other reasons why i like this map so much so okay here we are in the pda as you can see lots of fields all irregular shaped i don't think there is maybe one or two square or rectangle fields on here. Everything else is a very, very unique shape. And if we zoom in, you can really start to see all the different points that I was talking about. So many different places to sell your products, to buy things. I mean, there's an interstate that runs up here. We call them interstates here in the United States, but like a, a major highway up here that you can get taken out really, really easy by the traffic. And then you come down here and it's a lot more peaceful. It's a lot more peaceful. Farms everywhere. There's a castle that's going to be, um, where is it? I think the castle's here. And then there's another really nice building here. I mean, just so much really, really awesome stuff. Um, you've got Meadow Valley Farm there. You've got this farm over here. I don't think it actually has a name. Um, there's another one here. You've got your main farm that's right here in the middle. And then you've got, wasn't it one more? Yeah, one more up here, Valley View Farm. So every one of them offers something a little bit different. Highly, highly recommend checking this map out. Let's go ahead and do a, uh, a flyover really quick and I'll show you guys a little bit more about this map. So once again, here we are right at the chickens. And I forgot to mention, this is by Oxygen David a phenomenal phenomenal map maker as you can see we're going to go up this way and come around a little bit to a little bit more of the populated area that i was telling you about so you're going to come up over here and around this way and here's that big road that i was telling you about i mean and the traffic doesn't stop Ooh, we almost got taken out right there but really really awesome you keep coming along here lots of cell places here in this little town you've got a gas station along over here so much cool stuff and then you start getting out into town a little bit and as you can see all the way across here we've got a little stone hinge there uh, where's that castle it's gonna be right over here really really nice looking one you got a little drawbridge you gotta go across mm-hmm another cell area right in here and there is a carnival also right here really really cool I mean, so much detail put into this map. And then you get up over here, and it's just, it's peaceful. It's quiet, and you can really, really lose yourself in this area. Um, this map also has calves on one of these farms. I believe it's this one, I think. Yeah, one of them definitely has calves. So, a very, very awesome European map. We didn't do much on this map because it's a, it's a little bit bigger download. Um, it's probably one of the biggest downloads for console, and I just didn't have space. I didn't have space with everything else that we were doing, with all the testing and everything else like that that I do, but I highly recommend, if you've got some time, download this map and uh, and have a playthrough. And here we are right back at the main farm. So, on to number four. 
Coming in at number four is actually the Valley, the old farm. Now this map is by Black Sheep Modding and they did a phenomenal, phenomenal job. And from what I understand, this was a map in FS17 also, but it was one of the very first maps that I ever downloaded once I found mods here for FS19. And why do I like it so much? I don't know. I mean, there's just something about this building, this whole property around here, where you've got to like go through it and the cattle barn is sitting right here. You've got sheep on the property too. They're just right over here in this other little building. You've got chickens down there by the entryway. There's some pigs up on another side. And look at this. You can drive over your silo up to a storage area. How awesome is this? And, oh, there's there's oh so much more about this. So much more I want to show you guys. It's really, really cool. Check out. I mean, there's just so many, I don't, I don't know if they're innovative things, but just things they've built into this. So check this out right here. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, yeah, this one. So if you hit the button, watch what happens. It goes up. And what's it go up to? It's a silage pit. How awesome is that? So you can fill from the back now. That is really, really cool. The cows over here, there's actually a bridge that goes over, and they get to walk underneath you. I mean, r really, really cool there. Um, and I could just go on and on for days on this map. But let me uh, let me take you over here and show you one more really, really awesome thing about this map that makes it so inviting for a new player. And whenever I first found this map, I was really, really young in... Um, not young, but I hadn't been playing very long at all. And I was getting on some maps, and I was like, man, there's just... It's it's difficult, right? Trying to understand how to control the equipment in the game and everything like that. And I was like, man, I really don't like fences. And then I came on here and I saw this. And it says, press to remove the fence. What? Did you see that? No more fence. And it's not just on this property. It's over the entire map. Does this. Now... That's all the cool special features, but let's just take a look at the map itself. So here is the PDA. As you can see, a lot of these fields are very, very worker friendly. I mean, you've got a bunch of small ones up here. You've got an actual town up in here with cell points that you have to navigate through. There's a huge hill right here by fields two and five that it's the only way to get up here to the biogas plant and agro life. I mean, I guess you could come all the way around over here, but that's such a long way He's up the hill. But it takes a hefty, hefty tractor to be able to do it, or a semi. And then, you know, there's some fields over here, like this one to mow it, 88. Oh my goodness. It's like you're going vertical, straight up a hill. Um, and then you get down here, and there's it's, it's not a lot going on. It's a little bit more peaceful again. Like I said, you're out here away from town, and you, you don't have a lot. You've got field 62 here. They give you a little bit of an area to place some things at. A little bit over here. Your respawn point is actually right here by your farm also, which is really nice. Um, and I mean, it's just, you can combine fields together really easily on this map too. So I really, really, I mean, it, it's, it's nice for a beginner that wants to get into a European map. Um, let's say that if you like logging tons of it, absolutely tons here in the middle. And, uh, like I said, here is your area for some, uh, some cows right here. You've got uh, a pig farm that doesn't show up right now, but it's actually right here. Once you buy the property, it shows up right there. Um, really, really nice. It's 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 great. Let's go ahead and take a flyover. So here we are standing right by the post that I was just at. And one other thing I forgot to mention, check out this road right here. So this area right here is actually deformed. And it's like bumpy, very, very bumpy. And you can't plow over it. So this field is going to be that way forever. It's either that or grass. Um, and then it comes all the way out over here and goes around this way and you're not able to do anything with it at all but let's take you around this way and show you some more of these fields like i said most of these fields very very easy to work um, the workers have a little bit of problems around the tree lines but for the most part they are really really well behaved up in here um, you got some more areas right here that you could build some th things on if you'd like to come up in this area but you can just see all the rectangular fields they're great and then now we're starting starting to get into town a little bit. 
and you've got a bail sell point that's tricky to get into, but not impossible. And then your store is right over here. It's even got a spot that they've started to build a house and not actually put anything into yet. I mean, how awesome is that? Under construction. And then here's that huge hill I was telling you about right here, trying to get up that over here to the agro life. Really fun. Huge, huge bunker silos over here at the, uh, the biogas plant. And then we're going to keep coming around this way. Your sawmill is right here in the middle of everything. And here's that huge hill right here that you've got to mow. Oh my goodness. And then you've got this spot right here. So if you want to build an entire farmyard over here, absolutely could. Cut through your tree line there, or your, the woods, to get back over to your other farm. But as you can see, huge fields over here too. If you like big stuff, you're definitely, definitely going to be able to use it over here on this side of the map. And then we'll keep coming around, come up this road right here, and you're right back to your main farm. And here's that bridge I was telling you about. Really, really nice. I love it. Absolutely love it. Here's a overhead of the farm. Man, bringing back some memories, for sure. So, once again, The Valley of the Old Farm by Black Sheep Modding, coming in at number four. If you're looking for a fixer-upper map, have I got one for you. Coming in at number three is Alien Jim's Spectacle Island. Now, this map could technically be placed anywhere in the world, but it does have a fair bit of European style to it. This is your main house right here, and there's just junk all over the place. And the really, really cool thing about this is, let me get around here where you guys can see it. See this red mark on the tree right here? If you cut this tree down, it cleans up a portion of the yard. Really, really awesome. And as with No Man's Land, you can cut down trees to get rid of all the, um, or cut down signposts to get rid of all the junk here on the farm. And you can also cut down a signpost to get rid of all the trees that are growing on the fields that you own whenever you start. Let's look at the PDA here really, really quick. So here it is. And as you can see, you own quite a few pieces of property. You even own the BGA down here. Now, all of your equipment starts out over here on a boat that you have to bring it off of and then up to your farm. And there's a couple really, really treacherous treacherous areas here. There's a bridge right here, and there's a bridge right here. And believe me, you can fall off into this water quite easily. Quite easily. Apparently not as uh, easy as it was in previous games. But yeah, it's still pretty easy. And once again, here are those trees that I was telling you about. If you uh, if you cut down the signpost, they all go away. And let's go ahead and show you what that looks like here really, really quickly. They're just right up here. So this signpost right here, cut it down. It's going to get rid of all the trees. And over behind your cow uh, pen over here, there's going to be another one that will actually cut uh, get rid of all the trash and everything that you see around the, uh, the map here. So... It's back over there by that big tree. Um, it's a really, really awesome map. I really, really like it. There's a lot of really cool features here. And one of them is a BGA that actually you can uh, transport your silage from the BGA over to here through this uh, tunnel, the, the tubing right there. And this is that bridge I was telling you about. Really, really treacherous. Man, I've I've gotten a, uh, uh, a windrower. Not a windrower. I've got a piece of equipment stuck there. Really bad. Had to reset it. No way around it. Now, another really, really awesome thing about this map, and I'm gonna. There's a lot about this map that is really, I say really a lot, and I'm sorry, but this stuff is cool. It's, it's not just kinda. I mean, it's, it's out there. Cool. You got a boat, and you've even got a barge that you can load stuff onto, and you've got storage over here for some root crops, which is nice. There's bridges taking you everywhere. But there's one more thing I want to show you about this map. And let's see. Let's go this way. We're going to go back over to our shop. So this is a garage that you're going to be able to get into and work on your vehicles. And then right here, there's gold scattered around this map. It's insane. You get to collect this gold however you need to. And then you can take it over to a sell point and get crazy, crazy amounts of gold or money for it. Um, another really awesome thing about this map is 
Farmer Mainu has worked with Alien Jim to create some productions for this map and some of his others, but primarily this map right here. There's a gold production you can get. There is um, pig food. There's fertilizer. Just a lot of really, really cool ones that you're going to be able to uh, implement here on this map and kind of get used to how productions are going to be used in FS22. Let's go ahead and take a flyover real quick. Here we are at the starting farm. That's right where I was just standing. And as you can see, really nice uh, path that you have to take. Very treacherous down here. Um, I've been off in the water right here at this point. There's even a shark down here. I wouldn't mess with him. He, uh, he gets kind of cranky. You've got little boats out there. I mean, there's speed boats all around. Um, let's see what else. You've got a propane area right here that you're going to be able to get propane. That's the key ingredient to making gold also. Huge field right here. you got a little, nice little town over here, your BGA, then a little town. Another bridge. One of them's busted. Here's the cargo ship I was telling you about. This is where all your equipment spawns at. When you reset, it comes over here also. Really interesting. Um, you've got some... Let's see. Over here on this side of the island, you've got some water some um i won't say low water it's it's really shallow here and you can drive across this over to a cell point here and then across over to the other side the other parts of the islands um really interesting the way that this map is set up there's a free line point gonna be right here only i mean i guess there's more than one way to get to it but primarily only one way to get to it is across another land bridge right here and uh, by the nice big uh, skeleton here. Um, let's see what else. I mean, and these are all the fields. Once again, all these fields you own, but they have trees all over them. You have to clear all the trees out or you can do the little trick. You know? I mean, but really, really nice. And I guess the reason I like this at number three is because it has the productions. I really enjoy productions quite a bit. I think they're going to add a incredible element to the game in FS22 and really excited to use them. I mean, nothing against farming, but if I can do more things with the crops to be able to make a little bit more money and expand my farm that much faster, why not? Why not? So, this is number three, once again. This is Spectacle Island by Alien Jim. And speaking of productions, this map right here, Chamberg Valley coming in at number two is absolutely loaded with productions. Now, maybe not built into the game, but ER Shaba and the VSR crew has, oh my goodness, created so many different production packs that you can install here and uh, really, really expand your gameplay quite a bit. Now, this main farm right here is absolutely phenomenal. It's a two-story main barn that you have. Tons of storage on the back side. You've got storage on the inside with three starting tractors. You've got a shed up there. You've got all kinds of silos that are going to store all kinds of different products for you, whether it be um, lime or seed or fertilizer. I mean, you've got sheds here that are going to hold stuff for you. Um, you've got a main silo right here. You've got a hayloft that's separate from a straw loft. One of these is for hay, one's for straw. You've got separate storage for potatoes and sugar beets. You have uh, manure over here too. This is mixed silo. And then even this has had some updates since the last time I saw it. This is like lime right here, fertilizer, I think. Yeah, one of the t they're both on this farm. So absolutely phenomenal. And this is only this half. And then you come around on the other side of this right here. You've got another storage area up in here. Really nice. And then you come around over here, more storage. You've got more storage. <laughs> you come down the hill. You got another shed. You've got more root crop here. You've got your other silo here. This one's going to be for straw. The other one's for hay. And look at this. You've got tomatoes now. How awesome is that? And this is sugar cane right there. So, oh, man. Let's go ahead and take a look at the PDA. I want to show you that really, really quickly here. So here it is. Now it may not look like much, but all the fields are really, really irregular. 
and there's a lot of really really nice places here you've got a main little town right here your shop and fuel stations are close together a logging area up here with a crane it takes a bit to get up here to these places um, sugar industry uh, David the old farmer the biogas plant way up here it takes a bit it really really does to get all the way up here you can also see you've got some additional what well, looks like houses well they're not really houses they're production facilities you got a pig food factory and then over here on the other side you have a tmr factory that's really cool and then this area right here if you purchase it let's come in here let's go ahead and buy it you have a cheese factory that now shows up that's nice well what about all the other productions well you get to put them anywhere you want to and they've created a bunch of areas in this map like this one right here that you can see that are flat perfectly flat that you can place your factories on any silos around for storage whatever you need to do really really cool of them to be able to do that you can see they're just dotted all over the map all the way around here another really cool thing right in here you have compost bunker so you put manure in here compost it down or pack it down and let it ferment and it's going to turn into compost for you that you can use as fertilizer you have a lime area up here now you need to be able to purchase this property first it is 223,000, but then you get to load up a trailer with free lime basically um i know it costs a lot to begin with but it's kind of the element of getting to dig lime out of this that's really cool and none of the roads really seem to connect either like this road it's an overpass and then an under so the only way to get there is like take one of these back roads down or you've got to come all the way around over here which is a little bit of a pain but it's also really really cool um a lot of forested areas all kinds of crops around here but the thing that i like most about this is the fact that you can run all the different productions on here and let me go ahead and show you here what they are so if you come over here into your animal pens because this is the way that the factories work right now you got to come to animal pens and if you come across you're going to see right here you can already start to see them You've got a bakery. You've got a confectionery for donuts. You've got an eco green place, which is going to be able to make liquid fertilizer and lime. You've got mineral fertilizer and herbicide. Barrels, biodiesel, boards, cheese, chips, flour, oil, sunflowers. You've got soy drink, sugar production. You've got molasses and then pellets, hay pellets. You've also got a way to be able to make your own seeds. You've got TMR. You've got pig food. Those two are existing on the map. You don't need to put those down. But all these other ones, I mean, really, really awesome. And if you want to be able to store your products, you come here to silos. And this is another mod that you can download. I've got tons of videos on production facilities. I show this one off quite a lot. The warehouse of products on pallets. You can put all these items into this warehouse and it stores it for you. So you don't have to have them laying all around your map. Um, and these are all the different silos that we saw there on the main farm. So you can see regular farm silo then you've got seeds fertilizers the mix silo which is going to take a lot of different stuff that's really really cool that is a new since i was on here last time i need to get back on this map um straw hay and then you have grass also so there's three of them there you got a lime one uh, diesel tank milk sheep milk oh yeah sheep milk on here too i forgot about that see so many more things it's truly been a while since i've been on this map but and then wood chips nice so really 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 cool map here um i highly recommend if you're wanting to really dive into productions like i am give this one a try we we've, we've still got about three months until fs22 comes out and i highly recommend jumping on this map giving it a go and let's finish off here with a flyover so as you can see the main farm right here all this i mean there's so many things around here it's so hard to keep up the other side over here and if you start coming out this way you got some other cell points around here it's a really really interesting way that you can get some of your products off the conveyor systems take a shortcut here up here another cell point we'll take you up here see there's that overpass underpass i was telling you about you got your compost bunkers right here you got a pig farm down over here and these are what those flat areas look like really cool you can have multiple you can have just one or two um, there's also a water point. I believe it's yeah right here. It's like a big pool. You get water out of there. Really nice. 
the lime area is just up here. As you can see, it looks like winter time all the time. Absolutely great. And then we'll come across this side of the map. Another town area up here where you can buy and sell a lot of stuff. Mainly sell a lot of stuff. So many things can be sold up here. Then we come down and it kind of gets peaceful again. You got another factory right there. Come over here. More fields. Getting over close to the edge of the map. This is a... Uh, a cow stable right here, cow husbandry. And it's really interesting because you your main part of your cows are over here, but then to milk them, they have to come over here to this side. And it's all connected. You can see right here in the roadway, there's a, a pathway for you. They, they walk across it. So they don't, they don't actually walk across, but that's how they would in real life. So really, really beautiful, beautiful area here. Definitely, definitely check this map out, everybody. And here we are, everybody, my number one map from around the world that's not in the United States. And before I reveal the name of it, let's just take a look here at the main farm. There's not a lot here, is there? Well, that's kind of the point. Let's go through this fence right here, and I'll show you guys what I mean. A little silo, it's all run down. I mean, there's holes in the roof here. And look at this. You've just got a bunch of buried equipment back here. I mean, there's a harvester, a truck, an old tractor. I mean, it's it's going to take a lot of work to dig all that out, right? Yeah, that's the point. This is Six Ashes by GB Modding. This map, oh my goodness. I absolutely love this map. I used to make a lot more content that was storyline driven. And... Yeah, this was a really, really fun map to play on. Now, I'm typically not big on European maps, but this one, for some reason, it it just hooked me in. And since I've played on this map, it has had an update that completely sends it over the top and makes it my absolute number one map. And you want to know what that update is? Precision farming. This map is the only map I know of available for consoles that has a custom setting for your soil types. And what I mean by that is some of your crops don't produce 125% in loam. Here, take a look at this. So as you can see, these crops are all over the place. Typically in loam, you've got 125%, right? And then in loamy sand, it's gonna be the same. Silty clay is the same, sandy loam. They're all going to be the same all the way down. And on this, GB Modding has tweaked it so that if you're in loam, eh, you're not always going to get 125% on every crop. I think it's absolutely phenomenal. So if you've got a bad soil type, like a silty clay, you're going to be able to plant something in here and be able to get more than 80% out of it or 90% out of it. That's absolutely fantastic. And it's the only map available for console that I know of that this is the way it is. And that's why this map is my number one map for this reason. Well, not this reason right here, but this definitely, definitely puts it up there. If you know anything about Driver 53 Gaming, we love precision farming. And I, I really, I'm thinking if we've got some time, we're gonna come back and we're gonna play on this map again. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the PDA. All right, so here it is. And as you can see, once again, none of these fields are super easy to work with with a worker. Now, will they do the job? Yeah, they will. Um, but it takes a bit. It takes some, you got to work with them. All right. You definitely, definitely have to work with them. I love this main area right in here. It's really, really big. Um, there are hedges between each of these fields that you're not going to be able to take down, but you can still split them up a little bit. Use some bigger equipment, um, down over here. Field 32 is bigger than you think it is. And 34, the same thing. They're really, really big fields. And then up here, fields eight and nine, yeah, they're monsters. They take a bit to get through, especially if you're using some like medium size equipment because down these roads, these side roads, you're not really gonna wanna take big equipment down here. And um, you know, you've got some, some really, really cool farms. Right in here, you've got Black Back Acres Farm, which comes with, I believe, um, what is it, four fields? Five fields, one on the other side of the road too. And then you've got a, uh, that's all um, crops. There's no animals at all. Right here, Pineview Farm. It's actually going to be a pig farm. I can't 
buy it right now because it's more than I have, but there's actually a pig farm that comes with this one field. And then you've got the main farm right here that comes with one field. You can expand out really easily or across the road also. Um, up over here, you have a really nice, uh, the Utter Dairy Farm. Lots of property up here, and it's $1.137 million. Really expensive, but a lot of really cool stuff. And like I said, it's uh, cows are up there. You've got um, Charlotte's Liverly, Livery Stales and Stud. It's going to be a, a horse farm right here. Um, you've got CJ Farms, which is going to be sheep. You've got um, the Honeypot Allotment, which are bees. That's really, really cool. Um, you got a sawmill, which is nice. And then you have... What else do we have? Oh, the fishery. That's right. The Beechwood Fishery is on here. That's fun. And then right here in the middle, right close to our uh, animal dealer, you've actually got a spot that you can uh, race horses at. So let's jump in here really quickly. I want to show you guys this. I love this. You can race your horses, or if you can get your side-by-sides in here, I mean, why not? Why not? So, let's jump over this here really quick and see if there's an easy way. So, yeah, you should be able to get in probably here. Can we get the gate open? Oh, yeah. So, if you want to do some racing, get your side-by-sides or get your four-wheelers right in through here. Oh, this made this so much better. Now that these mods are out, this is so much going to be so much fun. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to come back on this map. Oh, man. <laughs> yep. Um, the the hedges, you can pass through them unless you have a header. Uh, headers will not pass through. So be careful there. But an absolutely phenomenal map. Let's go ahead and take a flyover. All right, so once again, there is the track. And that thing, oh, that's going to be so much fun with <laughs> those vehicles. I mean, a lot of those things came out after I was on this map, so I never got a chance to do it. Um, you've got some other uh, places up here that you can sell some of your goods. Really, really nice, steep hills. If you want the challenge, it, it's definitely challenging for medium and smaller equipment. Um, and the, the edge of the map just seems to go forever, right? Um, GB Modding did a phenomenal job out here. Like this field right here, you can't actually harvest. There's a sign here that says, sorry, no. Right? No trespassing, private property. But it's got real crops in it. And you can come all the way out to here. This are the main ones that I was telling you about. The hedges right here in the middle, you can't actually take them out. And then if we come across over here, you can see the fishery right here. Really nice little camp, camp area right there if you wanted to. Nice uh, pub right there. Um, man, there's just so many memories are coming back, just flooding in from looking at this. The BGA is really nice, too. Uh, it's pretty easy to get in and out of. Uh, big fields up over there. This cell point uh, right here, this traffic, getting in and out of here is a pain because everything is left-hand drive. So it's tricky, very, very tricky. But, man, such a really, really awesome map. And it's from a real area. Also, this is based off a picture of the map. So if you look at the PDA again, you can see that it is uh, an actual photo. And they've done justice to this area. They definitely have. So, yeah, everybody, this is the number one map here for for me. My, my personal favorites. Now, once again, I'm not trying to say that these are the best maps available right now. Because everyone has their own take, um, their own way of playing, what they like, what they don't like. Um, but these are my top five favorites. You know, give them a try if you'd like. If you don't, I totally understand. But I wanted to put this out for everybody uh, because we had such a good response to the top five American maps. So we went ahead and went with this. But that's going to be it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you would. If you want to keep up to date on all my latest top videos here that we have on the channel, think about hitting that subscribe button. And if you do, hit the notification bell too. And members, don't forget, we have a special section in Discord for members only now. And if you want to know more about uh, being part of Driver's Crew, down at the bottom, there should be a little join button. And if you don't see that, check down in the description for the link if you're on um, Apple devices. So either way, check out the perks. If you're interested in it, consider subscribing to Driver's Crew. We do a couple members only live stream and a couple of the perks that we do along the way. Um, but it's just another great way to support the channel here. And I appreciate everybody that even considers becoming a member of Driver's Crew. But 
That's going to be it. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.